Things and times have changed. You have to be careful today. With technology being advanced as it is, it's a blessing and a curse. We are able to do a lot of things we were not able to do before. However, it brings a lot of danger much closer to our doorsteps than we care to even know. Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. There will be no live show morning thoughts this morning. However, I will be dropping videos throughout the day for you. And we will go live tomorrow, which is Thursday, Thanksgiving morning. And we will go live on Friday for our grand finale to close out the week. I normally take one day out of the week to regroup, put things together so you can have things in a proper order meaningful content this one is for the sole purpose of warning you because a lot of people are using dating apps more than ever before one time gone not too long ago most people thought of it as something that was taboo i would never date somebody who i met online that's what most people said it has become such a regular thing that now it is something that is considered normal. So with that said, before you hop on your next dating site to ch choose or pick your next date, please listen to this story. Okay, the headline says she met him on a dating app and then things turned intimate and then things went crazy. Here we go. Taylor Smith. A young lady by the name of Taylor Smith said that she spent five days texting with a young man by the name of Cordell Jashon Stewart before meeting him in person. Five days before meeting him in person, they were texting back and forth. The texts got heated. They exchanged pictures, want to see how the person looks. They both liked what they saw, how each other looked. And they kept on texting back and forth. And then I guess the need to want to meet in person became such a growing urge. They decided to link up. The Texas woman says that everything seemed to be going well during her first date with this man. She met him on a dating app until he suddenly brutally attacked her and slashed her throat. Out of nowhere. Yep. You need to listen to this story more. Especially if you're somebody that's using a dating app. Or you might have people in your family that use it. This is a good video to share with them. Or tell them about this situation. Warn somebody. You might be saving a life. So Taylor Smith. She's 22 years old. She met Cordell Rashawn Stewart in September on an app that's called BLK. This is a dating app for young professional black people. So you're expecting a professional person with their mindset in the right place and all the other good stuff, right? Lo and behold, so after back and forth texting for the five days, they set up a date is what she told KHOU, a news station in Houston, Texas. Smith said she invited Stewart, who is 24 years old. She herself is 22. So nothing crazy, nothing out of her age range. It's not like she was 21, 22 and she dating some or she's trying to date some 40, 50 year old man or something. I mean... This is somebody that's close to her age, looked like within her age group, showed himself as somebody that's uh, gainfully employed and behaved like he had manners and respect. So she thought, OK, let's go for a date. So she invited him to her house in Houston where she cooked him a meal. Now, that's the first big mistake. I I'll be the first to tell any woman this. You met a guy on the internet five days after meeting him on the internet. I don't care how heavy you've been texting, how many times you've spoken to each other. I don't care if you've exchanged a million text messages, taking this person to your house 
or inviting them to your house and cooking them a meal on your first date? For one, that seems pretty desperate, okay? And for two, it's dangerous. So now you're flirting with desperate and dangerous. Now, she said that the two got, he was there, he came to the house, she cooked him a meal, he ate the food, they're having a vibe, they're feeling each other. The two sat in the living room, watched a movie together, kind of like one of those Netflix and chill moments. And then later on, she said things got heated, they started making out, and she moved with him to the bedroom. And they started to get intimate. She taken off all her clothes and all that. He's taken off all his clothes and all that. As they were kissing, Stuart then suddenly covered her mouth with one hand, pulled a knife out of his pocket with the other hand, and slashed her throat. Yep, Sla just like that. Out of nowhere, there was no argument, there was no warning, they were getting intimate. And again, she's a fast tracker. Fast tracker, I don't want to be disrespectful. We live in a world where people have their one night stands and one day hookup. I'm not here to judge anybody, but I will say that there's nothing respectful about that. You know, you invite a guy over to your house you met off social media and first date you cook him a meal and then take him to your bedroom to get to have sex with him. I mean, how many other guys have you done this with? And I could probably guess that not only is this person like mentally unstable, but he also probably got enraged by thinking of how grimy and dirty you must be. Because I know he knows he's not the first to have gotten that first date treatment of a meal, home cooked meal, and right to the bedroom we go. Anyhow, now, she said, as they were kissing, he covered her mouth, pulled a knife out of his pocket, and slashed her throat. Now, Smith, who released a picture recently with the stitches across her neck from the knife wound, is sounding the alarm about dating app safety after Stuart turned out to have previously been arrested on a murder charge. And that was not said on a dating site. This guy had previously been arrested on a murder charge, but presented himself on the dating site as a young black professional who had it all together. A judge in April of 2023 dismissed the murder charge because an unavailable and uncooperative eyewitness. That means it's not because he didn't do it. It's because the people who were supposed to testify probably were scared, probably got intimidated, but it comes down to them being unavailable, meaning they did not show up to court and uncooperative. They refused to speak to the police any further. That tells you a lot. But this is who you bring to your house on your first date. He told Smith that he was working as a cook at Sonic Drive-In. Now, Sonic Drive-In is a fast food restaurant. So this site that says BLK, which is supposed to be for young black professionals, there's nothing professional about being a, a cook at a fast food restaurant. I'm not talking down on people who work fast food. I'm just saying. There's nothing professional about it. It doesn't take an extra set of skills that have to be learned through some schooling and certifications. You flip burgers and you shake fries and you serve and you th that's the line of the work, right? I would expect if you were looking for someone who is young black professional that you would be looking for somebody who has a college degree and works in the field or a trade skill certification and works in the field in which they are certified to work, not a fast food sonic drive through cook. Another mistake, BLK, which is the app. She said, that was my first dating app. My first and my last, I'll never do that again. That's what she said. I don't know how this became her first and her last. I don't even believe that this is her first because how do you invite a total stranger to your house for dinner and then 
into your bedroom. Anyways, I always heard crazy stories about it, but I never really thought that it could happen to me, is what she said. This was literally the first person I decided to meet off of an app, and look what happened. A lawyer who previously represented Stuart in his murder case did not return the message request for comments on the situation at the time. In other words, his lawyers or his previous lawyer does not want to speak to anybody pertaining to him. A spokesperson for the match group, which owns BLK, condemned the allegations against Stuart, saying in a statement to the messenger that they're horrible, this is horrible, and this should not have happened. Hmm, maybe they need to vet their people better who they put on these sites. But again, this is a warning to my audience members to tell you that the people you meet on these dating apps are not properly vetted. Anybody could get on a dating app and present themselves to be somebody else. As a matter of fact, there is a Christian dating app out there that is very popular. And if you ask a lot of people who use this Christian dating app, guess what they use it for? To hook up for sex. And it's a Christian dating app. Yep. Okay, so we have removed this individual account is what the app says. We have removed him from our app and we stand ready to provide any information to law enforcement that may be helpful for their investigation. That's what the spokesperson for the BLK app said. Stuart, the guy who allegedly covered her mouth and cut her throat, he was booked into custody on September 21st of 2023 on a charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He is currently being held on a $125,000 bond. Now, back in 2020, he was arrested on a charge of murder in connection with another fatal shooting in Texas City, according to the Galveston County Daily News. He also previously served time in jail on a weapons charge, according to court records. Stewart didn't have many red flags when they were talking on an app and texting well this is what she said because she failed to recognize every red flag that came her way obviously to me she was desperate she was desperate to get a guy she was get desperate to get a man she was desperate to get a man into her house she was desperate to get a man into her underwears she was desperate to get a man how else do you explain what she did and she paid the consequences and some people are not even intuitive enough to see that they are their own worst nightmare right because if you're a woman that's cautious the last thing you will do is take somebody to your house on your first date you don't know this person and everything they have said to you online could have been all lies like her and this guy so she said there was no red flags the five days that we talked before we met up and when we met up in person he had kissed me forcefully a few times and he told me he wasn't allowed to see his children oh my gosh so you just met up with this guy as soon as you met up in person he forcefully kissed you a few times and then went into telling you how he is he has children but he's not allowed to see his children <laughs> could you say red flags big red flags could you say don't take him to your house red flags now during the attack smith told the news house that she began screaming and she was trying to fight him off of her stewart allegedly tried to stab her then with the knife this is after cutting her throat but she started screaming and as Smith was fighting her way out the door of her own home, he forced her to the ground to stop her from leaving that house. Neighbors came outside after Stuart managed to finally escape. This is what the news house reported and they called the police after hearing her screams. Smith said, 
that she required 12 stitches to close the hole that was put in her neck. I replayed that night a million times in my head, but the thing is, he didn't expect me to scream. It caught him off guard. Maybe he thought this was a scream movie where you slit somebody's throat and then they scream, but nothing comes out because they're just gargling. These aren't my words. This is These are her words I'm reading to you guys. She said it caught him off guard when she screamed. He panicked because he had cut her throat and he thought if you cut her throat, she's unable to scream. But by the mercy of God, God had other plans for her. So even with her throat cut, she wasn't gargling. She was able to still scream and she was able to fight back and she did fight back. And if you look at his face, his face is full of scars, which obviously look like fingernail claws all over his face. BLK, which is the app, advised that people always be cautious when you're interacting with someone that you meet online. It's the way of the world. It's the new world we live in. FaceTime. FaceTime wasn't here a few years ago. FaceTime is new technology, right? Um, dating app, meeting up, off, internet, apps, all this. All new and all dangerous. Now, some people have found luck with it and have found their soulmate or so they have said. But I don't know anybody who actually really has. Hmm. According to the web page of Dating Safety Tips, BLK also says that online daters should inform their friends and family members of their plans with people they are expecting to meet in real life. So, warning tips. If you are meeting up with somebody, y'all have been talking on the phone for quite some time, couple of days, weeks, whatever. You're grown. You do your thing. You decide if you want to give it up on a first day or give it up a year later or six months later or six weeks or six days. It's up to you, right? But don't go wandering off with strangers. Do not invite any stranger to your house, first of all, and then you be there with that stranger alone. Do not go anywhere private with that stranger on your first meeting. In other words, don't have a stranger tell you, well, uh, I live by myself. Come on over to my house. Let's go Netflix and chill. Try to make sure that your date is in a public place where you can actually gauge this person. You can see this person. You could see their reaction. You can see their how they are as a person and not only that make sure you tell friends family members who you're meeting up with show them the person you're meeting up with and tell them what your plans are as in where you are going again there's a lot of cray cray people out here today not right in the head mad people walking around in clean clothes and you have to be careful because you never know when one of them are going to flip on you. She expected for them to go to the room and make love or have sex, whichever one. And what she got was her mouth covered with one hand and a blade removed from his pocket and her throat slashed with the other. Let that be a warning to you. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And no, she did not die. She has a nasty gash on her neck that has 12 stitches in it, but it will heal. And she never lost her voice, so she will be fine. Thank her lucky stars. Thank God. I'm out. Peace.